All right, hello everybody, welcome to this update video for NEU. This is version 1.9.6, and this version brings the custom auction house. So the custom auction house uses the Hypixel API and a number of commands in order to essentially emulate the existing auction house and provide some features on top of that. So uh, I'll just get right into it and show you the auction house. This is what it looks like. You can access it either by clicking on this quick command or by typing slash NEUAH in chat. Uh, up here you have the main category filters, you can filter by uh, different sorts of items. Over here on the side you have subcategories, so here this is the combat category, you see all different types of uh, armor here. You can switch to swords, bows, armor, accessories, etc. Tools, you can go fishing rods, pickaxes, etc, etc. Uh, you can go through these yourself, there's a number of categories. Uh, and down here we have some uh, basic filtering, just similar to the existing auction, as you can sort by highest bid, lowest bid, ending soon. Uh, you can filter by rarity. Um, I'll get back to this in a second. You can also filter by buy now only. Uh, and then this is this is an additional one I added. You can also um, filter by the type of internet. So you can filter by clean only. Uh, so you can see only clean items are now showing up here. Uh, you can filter by enchant only. That's only enchant. And enchant slash hot potato book only. And so it only show up if an item has 10 hot potato books on it. Uh, and this, this is just some various uh, stats for me. <laughs> in any case, you're having problems with the mod. Uh, all right, so... That, that's cool, you can look at auctions, can you actually bid on them? Yes, you can. So if you click on an auction, it'll bring up uh, this menu over here. Hold on, let me, let me find something that's less than 100k. Ending soon. Uh, okay, what, what do we have? Uh, sure, this boat. So uh, you can open up here and it, and it just says auction view. Um, by the way, essentially what this is using, uh, if you're wondering, uh, is the slash view auction command. Uh, so using the view auction command and essentially just typing this in chat, I can open up this GUI and then all I need to do from there is to just uh, display it as like an overlay like this. Um, so okay, so here's the auction view, it'll tell you uh, how long is remaining. Uh, you can hover over here, see the bid history, uh, you can submit a new bid and you can also change the bid amount. So if you, if you change the bid amount here, it brings up this GUI here. Uh, you can double, you can add 50%. Once again, this is just essentially um, an overlay for the uh, existing sign interface and obviously providing some additional features uh, and, and you can you can type in whatever number here, so uh, I might want to bid uh, 500 coins on this boat, and then I can hit set amount, and it changes to 500 coins. I hit submit bid, and I can confirm the bid, and there you go. Now I have placed this bid for the boat. Uh, now I can go filter by my auctions, and it will show you uh, this auction over here. Uh, let me go. Let me go ahead and bid on something that is actually going to end soon, so I can show you claiming. Sure. Uh, by the way, so if someone else were to place a bid on this uh, auction while it's in here, uh, Hypixel actually refreshes the um, GUI inventory for us, so uh, it's, it's going to always stay up to date. As long as you have this open, you're going to stay up to date with the latest bids. Okay, so so it's ended now. Uh, we can go ahead and, and then if we, uh, you know, even if we close this GUI here uh, and, open, and open it back up and filter by my auctions, you'll see it's still here. Uh, it says it's ended, so we can click on it uh, and then we can just hit collect auction and... Um, disappears from there and it gets added to our inventory. Uh, one important thing to note is that, so, so this, this will keep track of your auctions even if you don't bid on it using my GUI. So even if you bid using this regular auction house. However, my um, auction house isn't able to find auctions that you've placed while the mod isn't running. So, so for example, if an auction were to expire, uh, if you were to win an auction while you're offline, uh, it will not get added to this list. So, so for, I think I have a bunch of other, yeah, see it, so I have like a bunch of auctions in here. Uh, but since since these all expired while I wasn't running the mod, um, I'm, I just have no way of, of getting them. So so that, that is a downside, uh, but obviously not a major one. Uh, all right. So I've, I've been saving this for last because it's a little bit complicated, but searching. So obviously you can search for us, search for stuff. Um, you can search even even the law. Uh, so for example, if I type in dungeon, I can see all these items because because has dungeon in the law. Uh, if I type in like aspect of uh, the dragon. So not only does it show the aspect of the dragons, it also shows you strong because it has aspect of in the in the description there. Uh, but another thing we can actually do with this is boolean searching. So so if I were to type in aspect, it's going to show up everything here with aspect. Uh, but I might also want to show um, something else. So if I use this like vertical line or or operator, and then I put uh, for example enchanted book in there. Uh, you can see now it's showing us both uh, things that match aspect 
as well as things that match enchanted books. So that's the or operator there. Um, if I put in the and operator, now this is matching stuff as aspect and enchanted books. So it's going to match enchanted books that have fire aspect in the lore. Uh, of course, I could match. Um, I could put an exclamation mark in front of aspects, and now it's going to mark. So now it's going to find all the enchanted books that don't have fire aspect on them, um, and so on and so forth. So, uh, yeah, boolean searching up here. So in, in case anyone wants to use that, uh, another thing to mention is how frequently the data in the auction house here updates. So it updates uh, constantly over time, uh, and it takes about two or three minutes to fully cycle through all of the pages of the API. Uh, unfortunately, due to the nature of how the API is set up, it's um, very hard to kind of cache stuff. And if I were to constantly like download the API like once a minute, uh, that, would, that would put a fairly large burden on your network. So I, I don't want to do that. So I just made it slowly, you know, download over time. Uh, obviously, that means sometimes auctions won't be the most up to date. However, uh, <laughs> you know, they're usually not up to date in the existing auction house anyway. So, so it's not that big of a deal. Another thing to mention is, is buy now auctions. Buy now auctions take roughly five minutes to disappear from the API. So, you know, if you're clicking on a buy now auction and nothing's popping up, it's, it, it probably means that someone else has bought it. Uh, so that's, that, that, that's the auction house. I uh, hope you <laughs> find this interesting. Hope you like the mod. And before you go, I just want to shout out the Discord. So I do have a Discord. I will put it in the description. This is where I kind of announce updates to the mod. So, you know, if you want to get the latest version of the mod, I can go here. If you go under roles, uh, you can hit updates here and then uh, you'll get a ping whenever I update the mod. Uh, if you hit videos, you'll get a ping whenever I go live. So I like to live stream uh, creating the mod. Uh, so if you want to tune in, like get the latest releases, uh, you know, suggest stuff, you have any problems with the mod uh, and I'm live streaming, um, make, make, make sure to head over there, twitch.tv slash mulberry2. And then suggestions, uh, I'm just going to ping you once, once every now and then to vote on like whichever feature I'm going to make next. So uh, yeah, jo join the Discord if you want to get um, pings about like updates and that sort of thing. So uh, yeah, hope you enjoyed. See ya.